What up, Street Thugs? Brig here. And yes, I finally did it. So many people have been asking me for it. I finally did it. I made a Grody Spines Fire Brute for fire farming. So if you liked the video, please remember to hit the like button. If you don't like it, hit it anyway. It helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. If you're not a subscriber, go to hit that subscribe button. I appreciate all your guys' support. But let's go ahead and jump right into this. Okay, so as you can see, I do have my fire defense blah, 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 over 45%, and that's what you want to do. Now, granted, I do have stealth on, so once once you start getting attacked, that stealth will drop a little bit, but it's still going to stay at about 45% defense. And then, of course, your fire resistance is at 90%. You are going to be over a cap by one for a four percent recovery boost. That usually comes from all of these winter sets as well as the purple sets. Uh, and you're going to it's going to be six percent for fire and cold resistance. And I think there might even be one more, but you're only over by one, so that's not a big deal. You're not going to need it anywhere else. Mainly, you're going to need you do need those sets though to get some of those five percent defense for fire defense. So, but let's go ahead and jump jump into this. You can see the numbers here. It's obvious we're not going to go through it too much. Uh, I will show you that if you look over here, you do have a 217.5% on for hasten. That d should make your hasten uh, perma. I'm mean, granted ageless does uh, diminish over time and then kick right back up there, but it should be pretty much perma. And then of course you have 47.5% for a damage boost, and that jumps up to about 207% when you're running uh, build up as well as fire embrace. Uh, but let's go ahead and just jump into the powers. We'll go through them really quick. So for spines, I took lunge, spine burst, build up, quills, ripper, and throw spines. I did have Impel in there at one point checking it out, but if you were to keep Lunge on cooldown, you're going to actually do more damage with Lunge, even though it's a smaller power. Granted, you're going to be using mostly AoEs anyway. That's just in there. Usually when I run my fire builds, I don't even use single targets. Uh, they just get thrown off into a side power tray. So you probably won't even need it. It does work to use another uh, winter set in there. So you get that 5% defense from it. But if you want to choose Impale, um, entirely up to you. Uh, I did take Throw Spines as well as Ripper because they are, I mean, they're cone powers, but still they are going to get you a lot of damage uh, to a greater number of characters or baddies or whatever you want to call them. And that's the, that's the goal here is you want to try to kill as many as possible as fast as possible. Okay, so Fiery Aura, we have Fire Shield, Blazing Aura, Healing Flames, Temperature Protection, Consume, Burn, and Fiery Embrace. And now for our power pull sets, in leaping I have combat jumping, in speed I have hasten and super speed, concealment I have stealth, grant, invi in grant invisibility, and invisibility, and in leadership I have maneuvers and assault, and then in move mastery I have move lightning, electrical fences, ball lightning, I almost swallowed my tongue there, that's what it felt like, and then so... Obviously, a lot of AoEs, a lot of recharge, and a lot of defense. And down here for our incarnates, we have for Alpha, we have Musculature Core Paragon, because damage, damage, damage. And then uh, for Judgment, I have my Ion Core, my one, my favorite. I love that electrical power. Uh, you can do whatever you want to. Uh, over here to Ageless, Ageless Core Epiphany. Uh, there are some people who do not like Ageless. If you don't, that is perfectly okay. You can put whatever you want to. I love Ageless, and it's pretty much a staple in all my builds. I can't imagine me not putting it in there because endurance is an issue because I like to focus on damage and other things. Or if I said tank, I'm focusing on resistance. If you do not like Ageless, please don't take it. If you do, take it. It is amazing. If you have an endurance issue, Suck it up and take ages, damn it. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, reactive, we have, uh, or I'm sorry, not reactive, interface, we have reactive core flawless. Uh, and that is a nice one because it gives a debuff as well as a damage over time. A dot, a fire dot, more dots. And then over here, I have assaults for chance plus damage. Uh, coming over here, we're going to look at the powers and go through all the sets now. Uh, in for lunge, we have sub superior blistering cold all six of them and like i said if you keep that on cooldown it'll actually do more damage than impel because uh the cast time as well as the recharge time you can 
pretty much hit that like three times in the amount of time you can do impel in two and it, it ends up being slightly more damage barely but it does it does end up being a little bit stronger come down here to fire shield i have three aegis i have resistance endurance res endurance recharge and resistance uh mainly i'm just focusing focusing on resistance i did squeeze in that endurance in there because you are going to cap fire resistance really fast so you don't need to go crazy with it uh and but the key point we're taking those obviously if, if you're familiar with any of these fire farmer builds fire defense and of course in aegis the third one is 3.13 for fire defense which is outstanding and then of course i have the gladiator's armor temperature or temperature uh teleport protection uh, and 3% defense all. That is the key right there. That's what we're taking it for is that defense. Come down in here to Blazing Aura. I took two of the superior Unrelenting Furies. Uh, in this case, it's the Recharge Time, recher Recharge, and Plus Endurance. And then the the Aider, the Accuracy, Damage, Endurance, Recharge. Uh, and I, as you can see, I only took two. There are three powers in this build that I have two of those in. And that is primarily for that 4% damage boost. So I have, like I said, I have three powers with just those two, giving me a total of 12% damage boost overall. And then also in Blazing Aura, I have Obliterations. So I have the Damage, the Accuracy Damage Recharge, the Accuracy Damage Endurance Recharge, and the Chance for Smashing Damage. Smashing, not smashing. Smashing. And of course, I, I try to benefit a lot from those extra bonus smashing uh, chance for extra damage because they are typically not unique. So I have several of them stacked, uh, particularly the obliteration one. Uh, coming down here to Spine Burst, pretty much the exact same thing in Blazing Aura, except you have damage recharge and accuracy damage for this superior unrelenting fury again four percent damage and of course the obliteration same exact thing and it's because i want that extra smashing damage in there so you have an extra chance to get a little more damage boost in there to proc uh, and of course the obliterations are also giving you three percent damage buff which is nothing to sneeze at and again nine percent accuracy and that's a huge one too i'm down to here healing flames healing flames not flames uh, Healing Flames has three Aegis. It's the three with the recharge. Uh, so you're, you do get some bonus for the Healing Flames to be able to recharge and go off as fast as possible. But you're also getting the 3.13% the defense for fire and cold from that Aegis set. And of course, that's going to be a big boost. Come down here to Combat Jumping. I didn't put anything in Combat Jumping other than the Mule, Luck of the Gambler. Uh, because I didn't really need any more defense. And Combat Jumping is mainly just... Uh, because it, it's a very low defense output, but it's a huge mobility out, uh, output because you can jump around a little bit as well as in midair. So that's a good thing. Uh, well, change direction, not like Mario double jump. Uh, temperature protections, temperature protection. I have uh, three Aegis. Again, resistance, resistance, endurance, recharge, and resistance. And that again, 3.13 defense. And I have the steadfast protection for that 3% defense. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Super speed or just a speed uh io in there you can throw an endurance if you want to you can do whatever you want to. you can do the blessing of the zephyr it's up to you your call uh luck of the gambler just a mule power stealth uh grant invisibility again same thing stealth quills i have five obliterations everything but the damage recharge if you want to mix those around that's fine but the main goal of this is it gave us uh for having all five it gave us that five percent extra recharge as well as the accuracy as well as that nice three percent damage boost uh and then of course uh, here over here to uh Sirico or Sirocco or I used to know how to say that dervish um uh, chance of damage like I said I added a whole bunch of chance for damage procs in here uh just to get a little bit extra out to just make it go a little faster uh consume all five of the superior avalanches uh I did debate putting this one into quills uh because I think it might have gotten a little extra damage but since quills is a toggle if you add too many knockdowns in there they'll turn into knockback and when you're farming knockback is horrible so i kept it in consume where it's only going to hit when you actually use it uh, a lot of times consume is not even used it can be used as an extra aoe if you want to because it will do damage and it will do a uh, knockdown so but yes all of the superior avalanches and primarily that's for that five percent defense for fire and cold Come down here in visibility, mule power, luck of the gambler. Uh, maneuver is another luck of the gambler. And then I have five of the red fortunes. And I have five primarily for that 2% damage boost at the fourth one. And then the 5% enhancement recharge on the fifth one. And I took everything but the endurance recharge. Come down here to Ripper. I took five of the Armageddons. I 
did not take the chance for fire damage because I believe I took it somewhere else and there's no reason to have all six of those here uh, because I, I could take advantage of the other ones because you don't need the toxic and psionic so why go for six and I also have this one over here another circle of dervish Sirocco, 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 uh, and that's for that chance of lethal damage again uh, come over here to burn. I have five of the burns because you don't need the sixth one, which is smashing lethal resistance. Uh, and then, of course, this one gives you 4% damage buff as well as a 10% recharge for your burn. And then, of course, I added that Armageddon Chance of Fire. This is where that's at. So now you've got lots and lots of burning. Come up here to Assault, just a blue IO because Assault is a very endurance heavy power. But yeah, just blue. Come down here to throw spines. Throw spines I went back and forth with too. Because it's, I mean, it's a decent power, but it is a cone. Um, and I didn't want it to be completely like nerfed. So I did add two of the, the other two superior unrelenting furies. So that you do have some damage and it gets a decent amount of damage. But it also gives you a 4% damage boost from that superior unrelenting fury set. Come down here to hasten. Just two recharge IOs. Uh, Moot Lightning, we have Superior's Winter's Bite. Again, 5% for Fire and Cold. Uh, come down here, Electrical Fences. Electrifying Fences, I should say. Uh, those are all the Superior Frozen Blasts. Again, 5% for Fire Defense. And that's a great one because it gives you all kinds of damage for another AoE. And then Ball Lightning, again, another AoE. Uh, this one, I took the Ragnaroks. I took uh, all but the Chance for Knockdown. Again, you don't want to... I mean, you probably would have been okay with Knockdown on this one. Um, but I mean, I'm, I'm fine with the extra damage, the extra accuracy, the extra recharge. Uh, this one though, you get the 15% accuracy. We get the 10% enhancement recharge. You do get 4% recovery helpful, but not a big thing. And then 6% for the fire resistance be cold. And of course, at the very end, another proc. This one is the positron's blast chance for damage energy. Lots of procs. This is a very proc heavy on this one for a fire embrace two two rechargers. Just two regular IO recharges and then build up. I do have a recharge, but I also have the Gossen synchronized fire control chance for build up. So not only is it, you know, I got a boost for the, the recharge as well as all the extra recharge you have in the build itself, but it also has the chance to hit again. So double build up over here in health. I have a miracle, your call if you want to put uh, the Numina's Convalescence for the recovery and regeneration. Absolutely your call, you do whatever you want to do. Stamina, I have an endurance mod. Like I said, your call if you want to put in a performance shifter for that in proc. And that's my Spines Brute fire build. If I wasn't so grossed out by the spines, I might even run one myself. Um, I am very particular for radiation because of all the debuffs you get from radiation. That's why I usually run my fire rad or rad fire, I should say, rad fire brute. Uh, but this is the spines fire brute for fire farming with the Moo Mastery. Like I have always said, these are up for your interpretation. You can tweak however you want to. You do not have to use this build as you as as I have it. If you don't like uh, Moo Mastery and you want to go with something else, by all means, go for it. I like to capitalize on AoEs. That's why I like to go with it. If you think there's something else you can do, like maybe using Char or from Pyre or whatever, you, you do whatever you want to do. Hopefully this gives you at least some sort of inspiration or a guideline or a starting point to build up your own character or you can copy it as is. I don't care. It's up to you. But thank you guys so much. I appreciate all your support. Please remember to hit that subscribe button and the like button and the share button and just click all the buttons. Even if you hate the video, click the like button. Hopefully you don't hate the video. If you do, I'm sorry. I, I do my best. I do my best. But thank you guys. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for getting me into the YouTube partner program. That is freaking fantastic. I'm loving it. It's very cool every day to see the numbers and all the cool little added things that come with being a partner. But thank you guys. I will see you again soon. Stay golden and take care. Bye-bye.